If we go a little bit back to the year that Mustard was established in 2007, it was an idea to transfer the resources, especially the energy resources of the Emirates of Abu Dhabi to diversify it into more of a clean energy. Within that, the Institute has collaborated with MIT to create that knowledge-based economy in diversifying the resources from oil-based to renewable and others. In 2009, we started with five MSc programs and we have attracted students and faculty to that. Today, we have more than nine programs, plus two programs that are in the pipeline. At Mazar Institute, I oversee all the research activities and also work closely with the faculty on the academic program development and the alignment between academics and research. To understand the role of collaboration and innovation, we need to understand the entire innovation life cycle. We start off with research and development, which creates the knowledge and technology to become the platform for business solutions which provide economic development benefits. Mazar Institute works very closely with many partners in academics. MIT is our core partner. They help establish Mazar Institute. We also work with a lot of local universities, including Petroleum Institute, Khalif University of Science, Technology, and Research, UAE University, and others. We work with many different industry partners. We have about 40 partnerships today. All of them are really working toward taking this fundamental research into commercialization by benefiting these companies in their, act, in their business activities. You have to focus on innovation because innovation is a cross-cutting theme. The partnerships and collaborations are extremely important because industry works with universities not only to get the fundamental knowledge they need to translate into commercial solutions, but also to acquire access to manpower, which becomes the innovators within their companies. The innovation at Mazdaran Institute started since inception. We are very glad to see our leadership uh, this year announcing the, making it the year of innovation. This is just a testimony that we have been in the right direction from the beginning, and we've been able to see where the country is going. Um, Mazdaran Institute has proved itself to be the first that is being dynamic, and even uh, before its establishment, being ready to support this ecosystem and within the UAE and even abroad. When I describe Mazdar City, as our institute, all of this, I describe it as a genesis event. That means something from nothing. And when we started this, it was just simply a piece of sand. It was an idea in somebody's head, and there was no infrastructure around it. There were no uh, government entities to support research. None of that was here. It all came from the desire and the will to have it. And it was built, and then all of those other things came afterwards. And uh, that's very important. That's the uniqueness of Mazdar Institute. If you step back a little bit further and say, what is our product? Our actual product is people. It's the students that come out every day. And if that's not motivation to you as a person to have an important part in developing these young people and developing their minds, they come down, they, they learn how to operate the equipment. They learn this new way of looking at the physical world, or this new way of manipulating the physical world, even on the nanoscale and they take that and they integrate that into who they are. In engineering systems and management, we're involved in different research areas and focus themes. Uh, we look in uh, three specific areas. The first one is what we call complex system analysis. It spans over different types of systems, industrial systems, urban systems, such as transportation planning, urban planning, smart city research. My research is primary, uh, primarily focused on um, robotics and artificial intelligence. We're particularly looking to try to get people to be able to interact with robots and other um, advanced technologies. I expanded my knowledge in the area of sustainability and uh, the issues regarding the, the penetration of renewable energy sources. So I hope to apply my knowledge and experience to overcome the challenges and concerns that may face the UAE in the future. Uh, my research is focused on the improvement of energy storage devices. We are trying to in increase the amount of energy that can be stored in those energy storage devices while maintaining its uh, fast charge ratio. Every student that we have, for them to be involved in research, they have to be inspired about what they are doing. So that is a given. What we do is that we need to make them focused and to be asking for the support and we are here to support them to achieve that inspiration. Mazar Institute today has nearly 100 invention disclosures. Of those invention disclosures, 
Over half of them have had sufficient commercial value that we've decided to file patents on them. All the students that come to Mazur Institute are on a fellowship. They're supported typically by either fellowships of the UAE government or they're supported by companies which provide fellowships for Mazur Institute. It's very challenging to get one of these scholarships or fellowships because they are very high admission standards that we've formulated with MIT. If you're looking to get into MIT, you're not going to face any less of a requirement to get into Mazur Institute. The UAE has a very innovative outlook on how it's trying to evolve its economy. By 2021, which is the 50th birthday of the country, the UAE seeks to be one of the most established innovation economies globally. And if you come to Mazur Institute today, you have an opportunity to, partic to participate in evolving the sectors which innovation is being formed around. 